In this lecture, we're going to apply our character terms to a drama, in particular, Susan Glassbell's Trifles. Now, since we have similar characters in both Trifles and Jury of Her Peers, and the fiction lecture covers Jury of Her Peers, I'm going to try to focus specifically on elements that are related to the drama form, that genre form, uh, that are related to characters, so there's not too much overlap between those two lectures. One of the really notable things about a drama is that it starts with a cast of characters, so you can immediately see all of the characters who are in the play. Conventionally, cast of characters are organized in one of two ways. Either the characters are listed with the protagonist first, and then other characters are defined in relationship to that protagonist, or they're listed in the order that the characters appear in the drama. So let's take a look at the cast of characters in Trifles on page 1197. Now, if you're looking at it on the electronic version, it's a little bit difficult to see. In the paper version of the text, it's more clearly laid out. Um, so the way the characters are actually listed in this cast of characters are Sheriff, County Attorney, Hale, Mrs. Peters, comma, Sheriff's Wife, and Mrs. Hale. That is a really interesting way of, of listing those characters. First of all, we know for sure we can, el we can eliminate the organization by protagonist first because Mrs. Hale and Mrs. Peters are the protagonists in the text. So it's not listed by protagonists first. Are they listed in order of appearance? Well, if that were the case, it would be listed county attorney, Mrs. Peters, sheriff, and so on. That's not what's going on here either. It's not following either of the two normal conventions for listing the cast of characters. Let's take a look again at that list. Sheriff, county attorney, Hale, Mrs. Peters, Mrs. Hale. It's actually listing those characters in order of social status, basically. So it's listing it from the person with most authority and it's listing men first and then women. So actually the main character in the text, Mrs. Hale, is the one in this schema listed last. This is just another good example of how literature and culture can be connected. And we're gonna continue exploring these kinds of connections uh, as we work through the unit. But this, this uh, cast of characters in Trifles is a really good example as a case study. So again, as we think about character in this drama, just keep in mind that we're, we're not going to get the same sort of information. While we, we have a lot of the same lines as we do between the um, fiction version and the play, we're not going to get quite the same information or experience because what we don't have is the internal thoughts of characters, and in particular Mrs. Hale, that we get a lot of in the fiction text. So instead, characters really need to convey their thoughts and their, and their ideas only through dialogue. So that may change the relationships among characters. So once again, uh, as I mentioned, Mrs. Hale and uh, Mrs. Peters are the protagonists in this play. They're the ones who are the focus of the story. There's a really interesting idea about whether there's an antagonist or antagonist in the story. Obviously, there's some conflict between the men and the women, and it's a little bit uh, passive aggressive at the beginning, and it escalates to the point where the women actually are hiding evidence from the men. Analyzing character in a drama, you really want to pay attention to the stage directions that are within individual uh, lines, that, and, and especially right before lines that characters are going to say that describe how lines are being said or how characters are moving um, or behaving on the stage. So those are some things to look at when you're trying to figure out what's going on with characters in a drama that's a little bit different than when you're analyzing character in fiction. For the most part, we can analyze these characters in a very similar way to the way we did in fiction. We can still ident identify those protagonists, antagonists. We can think about things like round and flat and static and dynamic. Uh, and again, I refer you to the uh, fiction lecture for more details on these particular characters. But when we're, when we're thinking through character in a drama, we want to pay attention to the descriptions, the physical descriptions of the characters from the stage directions, and those little notes right before the dialogue that they speak that let you know how lines are being delivered. And that will help you to understand how those characters are behaving, maybe even how they're thinking, and definitely how they're relating to each other. And that's really a focus point in a drama is characters relating to each other, because that's one of the main things as an audience that you can see on the stage. So by using those elements of the form of the drama, you can get a lot of insight into the characters, and that will help you with your analysis.